Hello, it's Tim Spector here of the Zoe COVID Symptom Study app, giving you our weekly report on the state of the pandemic. Good news is that cases peaked on the 1st of January and in the last two weeks have halved in terms of the number of new cases that we're picking up. And this is giving us an R value across the country of 0.8 and every region of the United Kingdom is seeing a decrease, which is great news. Unfortunately, we still have many cases of disease around. There's over 600,000 people with infection that you're likely to bump into, so risks are still extremely high. The main drops have been in the uh, younger populations, which still remain the main source of infection, the 20 to 40 year olds bearing the brunt of uh, infections and we're seeing slightly less of a decline uh, in the over 60s although it's definitely not going up. On the other side of the coin uh, it's not so good in the hospitals they're still full everywhere with uh, rates of Covid patients varying from 23% all the way up to 55% in London where they're really struggling. But there are signs uh, this could be easing because the rates of admissions uh, looks like it started to plateau around the 16th of January, which is about two weeks since we saw the uh, peak in new cases, which would make sense. And hopefully in a week's time, we should start to see uh, that dropping. Deaths are still going up, unfortunately. Well, and although many of them are in care homes, which uh, are harder to... Uh, correlate with what's going on in the population, that's going to take another couple of weeks uh, to uh, get that down. There's some conflicting news in the media uh, about what's going on in this current wave. The REACT study was just published and is highly publicised as it's uh, backed by the government. But its results uh, showed no difference, uh, but in no real drop in, in new cases over the last month. But I think this their particular survey is flawed this time because they didn't collect any data for a month between, after about the 5th of December. And this is when everything was really happening in this country and they failed to show a peak. So I think we should take this that particular survey with a pinch of salt and wait till they get more data next time. Overall data we see um, obviously is generalised and there's still pockets of the country where rates are still going up and that might you might be in one of those areas. Uh, we've pinpointed a few of them such as the uh, Tees Valley in uh, northeast of England and place in the Midlands, Warwickshire, Coventry, Solihull uh, and some areas of Lincolnshire as well. So it's not uh, a totally done deal yet. Things are still going to get uh, much more under control until we get these cases uh, really much lower. Uh, we won't be safer. Now, the other story is uh, that Press and others are calling for extra lockdown measures because of the rising death rates. Uh, and because we're seeing that the incidence rates are, are dropping, I don't think there's any need to do that at the moment because it will be too late to really affect that. What we do need to do is to go back to basics and actually make sure that the people who have infections are uh, getting tested properly and self-isolating. At the moment, we still have the strictest criteria in uh, Europe for getting a test. And 35% of people who have symptoms of COVID, according to our data, are not being allowed a test on the NHS. But if you and your family or friends sign up and log on to our app, uh, we guarantee we'll offer you a test uh, if you have any one of the the 20 odd symptoms associated with COVID. So this way uh, you can have peace of mind helping research and helping control the pandemic. 
So that's all for me. Keep logging. Stay safe.